Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I want to show you guys how you can convert a raster layer into a vector layer or you can convert um, your raster layer into a object layer. Um, so this is very easy and it can be done in one click. So by default, when you start a project and you open a new canvas, it opens it up in a uh, raster layer. And so in a raster layer, when you draw on the raster layer, your lines are represented by pixels. And those pixels are fixed. You cannot manipulate uh, those pixels any longer. Now in a vector layer, you can uh, in fact, I'll open up a vector layer here. So here, this icon here opens up a new raster layer, but the one next to it with the 3D cube in it opens up a new vector layer. So the vector layer, you can see it has a 3D cube on there. That lets you know it's a vector layer. Now in a vector layer, when you draw a line, you have these uh, tool navigation on the right side where you can manipulate in fact, I'll, I click this little 3D box here, and then if you click the line, you'll see these little dots on the lines. That means because the line is not actually represented by pixels per se, uh, the entire line is an object where you can manipulate uh, the, the path of the line, right? So that's one powerful tool of a vector. Uh, I don't use vector uh, too often. In fact, I don't use it at all, actually. So I'm not going to go over on how the tools of a vector layer. But what I will show you, like I said, is how you can convert this raster layer into a vector layer. So you have this line art, and you don't want to redraw it in a vector layer. So what you can do is you can come up here to layer, convert layer, and you can now say change it to a vector layer. Now this little checkbox here lets you keep your original uh, raster layer, which I recommend. So make sure that's clicked. Uh, the layer property, I'm gonna just keep it the same color. The blend, I'm gonna keep it normal. You can have all these other property layers, but in the vector settings, um, the I would leave everything the same except uh, if your anti-aliasing says none I would put it on medium um, you can certainly uh, play with this and try weak or strong but I think for me medium works the best and if you hit OK and so now when you hit OK you can see that Clip Studio Paint has created a new layer it's called layer 1 2 and it has a 3D box next to it letting you know that it is a vector layer now you can now move like select it and move it I'm gonna click the paper layer back on so I can see the white so you can see it's not exactly uh, perfect and that's because uh, I think with the anti-aliasing layer when you choose anti-aliasing it kinda missed some things because this eyeball is completely black where here it's just a line uh, but again you now have these uh, vector layer tools here where if you click it you can now manipulate those lines however you want and so now you don't have to redraw your uh, raster layer image you can just make it go away and now you can have this raster layer uh, so that you can manipulate however you wanted um, why did it put two anyway yeah so that's uh, you can convert uh, this raster layer into a vector layer now the other thing you can do is say you draw something uh, and you want to repeatedly use it um, but you don't want to uh, you don't want to keep uh, selecting the selection tool and then manipulating the size and stuff like that. So what you can do is you can actually 
save this raster layer again by going layer convert layer and save it as an image material and now you can save um, this this uh, you can see that it has next to the raster layer has like a little looks like a uh, painting with a little 3d cube on it that lets you know it's a material so the tool navigation if you click that you can see that now it 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 has this um, where you can manipulate it pretty much like a as if it were a an image like if you uh, a JPEG that you imported into your drawing and you can save this and you can then import it into you any drawings you want whenever you want and you can easily manipulate it you can rotate it uh, whatever you want and so it becomes uh, kind of like an image an image uh, material uh, so that's how you can easily convert from a raster layer into a vector layer and or create a object layer now uh, one reason you might want to do this is because if you take the image of a raster layer and let's say you you want to increase the size of it you want to blow it up you lose pixel integrity and I'll show you here by making a copy so here are two raster layers but I'm going to increase the size of this one And if you zoom in uh, close to the lines of these two, you'll see that this one kind of looks fuzzier. It's not as sharp as if I were to draw a line that thick. See, this line looks a little bit more fuzzy than if you were to draw it that thick. Uh, one way that you can try to minimize that is to convert it into a vector layer so I'm just gonna go back to layer convert layer vector layer and if you go to vector settings anti-aliasing medium uh, because you want to keep that the uh, gray pixels next to the line so now you have that one so now what I'm going to do is try to blow that up and we'll see if it holds its integrity. And so if we zoom in, you can see it's a bit more sharper. See, this is a line I just drew that I'm trying to draw it as thick as this. And you can see that it holds more pixel integrity if you convert it uh, into a vector layer and then blow it up you will then um, if you want once you get it to the size you want you can convert it back to a raster layer and so now it's a raster layer um, and it has the same integrity and now you can make your little corrections like this, fill that in, or finish that off and erase. Um, wait, why isn't it not erasing? Whoops, why did it do it twice? Do I, oh, because I converted it back to a raster, that's right. forgot about that <laughs> so yeah once once you convert your uh, vector layer back into a raster layer then you can uh, make your your corrections uh, without having to redraw your your smaller drawing and convert and uh, and losing pixel integrity so that's one of the uses you can do with uh, converting from vector 
back to raster if you prefer working with raster later. So I hope you found this video informative. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I make uh, Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos like this one. Uh, make sure you check my uh, channel video history. I got a lot more tutorial videos on Clip Studio Paint. Uh, if you have a question um, on how you can do anything in Clip Studio Paint, make sure you leave that in the comment section of any of my videos. Um, I will try to get to that as soon as I can. Um, I've been kind of busy uh, with this whole COVID thing, and um, but yeah, just leave a leave a comment or qu your questions in the comments, and I'll try to. If I can't answer it in the comments, I'll make a video of it so that everybody can learn from it. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.